Yes, uh, very brief. Uh, Conrad Weiler, 104 Second Street South. And I'm not going to talk about liquor license. <laughs> Just, um, I was curious as to the uh, personnel sessions. Uh, it seemed that the last, tonight in the last uh, meeting, there was a person, an executive session called to deal with personnel. And included or was exclusively about um, one of the council members. But uh, I'm not an expert on the subject, but as I read the Open Public Meetings Act, it says if personnel is one of the exceptions that the people who are subject to it have to be given the right to a public meeting. But there's also case law that uh, says that uh, a council person is not subject to this exception. So I don't want to get into a big legalistic hassle tonight, and I think it's been somewhat raised already, but I think it's something that uh, should be looked into a little more closely. I appreciate you saying it. Okay. Okay. But a council person was involved, and so are you saying that the council person is subject to that exception for under personnel? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Okay, thank and, you. And, and I understand that um, I have been presented case law that may be interpreted to say differently. I'm mm -hmm. going to look into that. Okay, thank uh, you. But, but I don't believe that that case law, that single case which dealt with the school board, right. is applicable to Gannett the versus council school board. Personnel. Okay. Thank you. Do you have the name of that person who's going around filing lawsuits? I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other public?